So, I mean, I don't think anyone is surprised by this one. Microsoft Flight Simulator, of course. This is, this is right up my alley, so. Um, first things first, this is the Steam version. I know nothing about the Games Pass, is that what it's even? I don't even know what that program is called. The Games Pass? That's what it is, right? I know nothing about that. I have played no games through that, so... I'm going to assume you probably want to use Glosk. I don't know, this is... I just want to get that out of the way. This is the Steam version. I bought the Steam version, and this is a profile for that. I've had no troubles at all. Uh, and really, I wasn't doing anything too overwhelmingly crazy here. It's mostly all gamepad stuff with a couple of tweaks. You do have mouse control if you hold the left grip. So I guess, yeah, let's just... So right now, this is mouse joystick. I hold left grip. I now have my mouse. Triggers, you know, left and right mouse. Stick, zoom in. You know, right mouse would be to engage things. You know, so you can get in there and interact with things. Stick to zoom out. And then I'm back to mouse joystick, gamepad. And while you're holding this, you do still have the analog yoke. Okay, so you have hold to get into the mouse, which is useful for, like, this stuff. So I'm just holding the grip, I let go, and then I'm back. You can also double tap. Now I'm in the mouse, like, it's... I'm in it. There's not a hold. That's good for, you know putzing around in the menus. Like, let's change this a little bit. Let's make it look a little... Let's maybe go some clouds. And then double tap, come out. So that's the one one specific thing. Hold that for mouse. Uh, the other is right grip. Right grip will change your view. And then right grip hold gives you zoom on the stick. And I try to describe that as well as I could. So hold X or right grip to zoom with this the D-pad left stick. But all right, let's take off. Throttle up and down is A and B. Uh, I did put a shortcut to parking brake. That's double tap Y. So parking brake's off. Yeah, throttle up. Triggers for the rudder. And then the elevator trim, which is usually hold Y, left stick. I don't, I don't like that. You got to take your hands off your main controls. So that is up and up and down click on the right pad. So I want nose. I don't want to have to hold the yoke up. So I'm gonna put the nose up. You can see the trim gauge. So I can adjust that. A little bit more. And then, like I was saying, you hold X, zooming in on that. And I can move, gyro move the camera. And then, left stick to zoom in and out. So right now, you know, gyro is camera. If you want gyro flying, just click the left pad that toggles it. That's my resting position wasn't neutral. That's why I dipped down. So I dip, dip forward, nose down, pull back. It's 
Let's get down there so you can see. So yeah, this is all full gyro. And then just click left pad again to come out of it. Alright, and for right now... Okay. Peace. Okay, I'm just waiting for them to shut the hell up. So, all right, what that was, what you just saw there, was a little touch menu action on the right pad. To get to that, you click in the left stick. Left stick is just D-pad stuff. You click it, and then the right pad. Delegate co-pilot, autopilot. When you're done, close it with that. These are just whatever's for now. Everything in here works and is bound, but I kind of figured this might change based on playing it a lot more. Things you might need, I don't know. But I definitely, I knew I was going to need to have some stuff, like the Delegate Copilot, which so I'm not flying right now. But yeah, let me close that. Just a uh, little thing, like I put 2x press on x is the engine. 2x press on y is the parking brake. If you want to go into drone view, that will be holding, like holding right grip is kind of your view changes. So hold in right grip, which is showing this mode shift here. And then the click action of the left stick, which I can show that. So I hold it, click it. So now I'm in the drone views. Hold left grip, or right grip, click it, now I'm back out. Hold right grip, zoom in, zoom out. I kind of, and this is one that I specifically made the keyboard shortcuts instead of mouse scroll, just because it's a smoother zoom. But if you want, hold left grip, that is your mouse layer, so you can still do... the zooming with the... scroll. So yeah, I mean, nothing... nothing too nuts. Um, let's take control again. Give me my control back. There we go. Let's get back into that gyro. But yeah, I kind of knew once I started this that I didn't want to go too nuts and I wanted to go a lot of gamepad stuff because I want that controller vibration, which I'm feeling right now. Hopefully I'm not going to shear my wings off. And this is one that oh, I am probably going to end up getting a flight stick just to be official, but I wanted to have a decent Steam controller config for it. Yeah, really the only thing I needed to tweak was giving it mouse control. That looks nice. But yeah, this is one that I will probably... Even w with the seam controller and using head tracking, that that is... Uh, uh, that, it feels really good. Yeah, I, th I think that's it. I don't, I don't really need to go over it too much. It's uploaded. You should find it in the community. If you're using the Games Pass version, which I'm still not even sure if that's what it's called. Microsoft Store Xbox thing. It should show up for you as long as you rename the Glosk shortcut to match the product ID of the Steam page for Microsoft Flight Simulator on Steam. Like there's a number in the address bar. Or you can just make sure that it matches the title completely. Sometimes that works too. Yeah, I think that's, that's it. I don't, 
I really, I don't want to go on too much about this one. Also, I should probably stop recording before my computer explodes. Because, yeah, this is a, it's a pretty demanding game. So, I just wanted to make a quick little announcement vid. That yes, I have a profile. It's out there. Feels pretty good. Oh, one final thing. So there, here. This is kind of like... I'll show you how to do something. So this is the active pause. This is not in my configuration. But if you wanted to do that, what I did is I put double press on start to be Y button and... to be Y button and select. So that takes it back out. That's the active pause. And the reason that it's not in this profile is that would require custom key bindings, and I kind of wanted to... Let's get that. Kind of wanted to get away from doing that. Uh, I think was it... Yes, so right here. So if you go into controller, I, may, I just made my own preset. It's under menu, taggle, Taggle. <laughs> Taggle active pose. Toggle active pause. And then I just made it Y and select, and that doesn't seem like that conflicts with anything else. But I didn't want to make that part of this profile, because then I would have to check into exporting the control preset, and really, that's the only thing I did. But I wanted to have that active pause in there. Fix that trim a little bit. Man, it really is a gorgeous game. I'm gonna get back to uh, flying around. I will see you around. Hey, Mom. Yes, you. Why fuss and fret about dinner? Why not have it right here? Yes, this drive-in offers everyone in the family a real picnic treat for dinner. We've got delicious sandwiches with all the trimmings and your other dinner favorites, plus whatever you want to drink, hot or cold. Come early before the show starts, or eat while you're being entertained, or at intermission time. So why fuss? Give your family a tasty dinner at this drive-in.